In this video, I'm going to show you how to take your photos from this to this using Adobe Photoshop. No, I'm excited and I hope you are too because today we're going to be doing our first photo retouching or photo editing tutorial using Photoshop. And what we're going to be doing today is just removing some pimples or imperfection from a photo from someone's face. Now that's not to say that the person in the photo isn't already beautiful as they are in their natural state. But as a photographer, your client may ask you to remove pimples or any other kind of imperfections that they might feel insecure about in a particular photo that you may have taken. And if your client does ask you to do that, it's good to be able to do it and to meet their needs so you have a satisfied client. So with all that said, let's start editing. So here I already have Photoshop opened with my photo loaded in and I'll put a link in the description as to where you can get this exact photo so you can edit along with me. Now today I'm going to be using my graphic tablet versus my mouse because a graphic tablet will enable me to edit this photo much much faster than my mouse and we'll talk a little bit more about graphic tablets later on in the video so let's continue with editing this photo. So here we have Adobe Photoshop open and we already have our photo loaded in. And I'm just going to go ahead and make this full screen by pressing F on my keyboard and then just zooming it in so you guys can see clearer. And then what I'll do next is I'll just go ahead and just close my properties tab for today because I'm not really going to be using it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit Ctrl and J to duplicate my layer. And then I'm going to go Ctrl and S to save. And then I'm going to just name this by keeping the same file name. But what I'll do is at the end, I'll put underscore retouch, right? Because we're retouching it by removing the pimples and the imperfections. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit save, right? Okay. Now I'm going to be using my spot healing brush as well as my patch tool. And you can find those by hitting J on your keyboard, right? So when you go ahead and hit J, this tool gets highlighted here, right? And then if you click and hold on the tool, you'll see the patch tool. I'm going to use the patch tool later on in the tutorial, hopefully, but for now, I'm just going to use a spot healing brush and I'm going to zoom in some more. And then I'm just going to start on the lower areas of her face. And I'm just going to start brushing away the imperfections, right? To get the desired result that I want. And remember, I duplicated the layer and I'm going to be working on the new layer that I duplicated. That way I can just turn off my duplicated layer like this and see my before and after, right? Let's just go ahead and rename the background layer before. And then let's name this other one after, right? And then Control and S to save and we're going to be working on the after, right? Now let's go ahead and start brushing away these imperfections. Zoom in some more. And when you're using the spot healing brush, you want to make sure that you're zoomed in as much as possible. That way your adjustments won't look as obvious to someone who is looking at the image, right? Nobody else will know the changes that you made or the areas that you brushed over in your edit, but the more you zoom in, the more you're zoomed in on the image and the smaller you make your brush, the less obvious it will be, especially to someone who has a trained eye, right? Now with my after layer selected and my image zoomed in and my spot healing brush zoomed really, really small, I'm just going to go ahead and start brushing away at these areas, right? just brushing away the pimples. And as I mentioned earlier, because I'm zoomed in, when I zoom back out at 100%, it won't look as obvious, right? And you want to make sure that you're saving as you're making these changes. I already preset a button on my graphic tablet to be the save shortcut. So instead of me pressing Ctrl and S, I just go ahead and hit one button on my graphic tablet and it saves it for me. I also programmed it to do an undo shortcut, you know, Control and Z, just in case I make a mistake and I want to undo it, right? Remember, I told you guys some more about the graphic tablet later on. I may speed through some of this edit so I'm not talking and boring you guys to death. But as you see, I'm just brushing and the imperfections are disappearing, right? 
Let's go ahead and go over some more to the other side. I'm doing this movement as well with my graphic tablet. So let's pay attention to right here. Let me zoom in some more. See this area right here? Let's see what happens when I brush it away with the spot healing brush. All right. See that? And I could have zoomed in some more and got it even more perfect, but for the purposes of this tutorial, that's just fine, right? You guys get the general idea and I know you guys will put this to good use. All right. Let's look at the before and after here and see what we have. Let's turn off the after so we can see the before layer. All right, look at that. What do you guys think? Before, after, before, after. So much, so much cooler, right? All right, let's get this little spot right here on her lip. Let's go up to her nose and do some touching there. Oh, not so much. Let's just touch away these few spots here. And when editing or retouching your photos, you can use your professional judgment to like determine what's like a natural mark on someone's skin versus what's like a scar or what's like a pimple, right? Things that are identifying marks, like possibly a scar, you can let those remain as is only if the client like asks you to like just remove them, right? Because some people have scars that they've had all their lives and that's really what people use to identify them as who they are. Maybe that scar tells a unique story, so you don't want to just delete that out of a photo because it may have a personal value to someone, right? So it's always best to ask if you want to remove a scar or a wart or a particular mark on the skin, right? Anything that's not a pimple, just ask about it, all right? And give the client options, all right? I may speed through some of this here. Let me just save it. All right, let's save this here and look at this cheek. Save, and then let me just turn off the after and see what the before looks like. Whoa, look at that guy, it's like, whoa. All right, let's continue. We're doing real nice. I hope you guys are doing well by um, editing with me and retouching with me. Let me know in the comments below how it's going for you so far. All right, let me just pause here and save this. Remember, I'm just speeding through this edit that way it's not boring for you guys, all right? So don't worry. Remember, the principle is the same for every single pimple. I'm just brushing over it, right? And I may, I may not, or I don't think I will use the, um, the, the patch tool as I mentioned earlier, because this seems to be working pretty well so far with just the spot healing brush, right? But I'm going to show you what the um, the patch tool can do. All right, let me just pause here and demonstrate the patch tool. So if I were to just go ahead and right click on the spot healing brush, right? I'll just go ahead and choose patch tool. And what, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, what that will allow me to do over here talking gibberish is just select an area right i just want to draw around an area and then i just click and map somewhere else to that area right but you see what's happening here because i'm gone so far over into the highlights it's mismatching so let me just go over to somewhere that's similar in shade and tone and exposure and then use that area because i made such a big circle Remember, I'm always saying like zoom in and then do the work. But if I was zoomed in, then it would probably have looked better, right? Let me just deselect that by hitting Control and D. And you see, even though I selected a large area, Photoshop still did its best to just correct it and blend it for me, right? Let me show you one more right here. If I wanted to replace this area, I just click and draw around it, right? And then I just click and drag to find the best matching area and Photoshop will correct it for me, right? Control and D to deselect, Control and S to save. And look at that. What do you guys think about the patch tool? Let's turn off the after and see what the before looked like. Looked like. <laughs> click. 
before, after. Like, what do you guys think? I don't think I need to do anything else. I don't think I need to talk anymore. The results are self-explanatory. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this spot healing brush. Let's look again. Before and after, right? Let's see what happened if we try and just like patch a ch giant chunk of it right here. Let's see how well Photoshop will work for us. Click and drag to about here. Did it manage it well? No, that's too obvious. You see, this is just weird looking, right? So you have to select an area that's at the same shade exposure wise, right? That's not too bad, but I think we can do better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue with the spot healing brush. Control, Control and D to deselect, Control and S to save. And let's go back to our spot healing brush tool, right? Let's go ahead and just brush these out some more, the remaining pimples and imperfections. And remember, um, you can program the buttons on your graphic tablet. Um, I programmed the mind also, as I mentioned earlier, the undo button that I programmed, I programmed the, the save button. You can also program buttons to um, increase the brush size. Look at this, let me show you guys right here. See, it's making my brush bigger, right? And I have, I can make it smaller, right? And I have a button to zoom in on my image, see that? And then just zoom out, or zoom out and zoom in, right? You guys get the point. And uh, you can see here, it's just allowing me to just really brush quickly through this photo edit, right? What do you guys think so far? What's your favorite portion of this edit that we're doing here? I'm almost finished, so I'm not going to really speed up anymore. Let me just brush out this loose, lock of hair, loose strand of hair. And you see Photoshop is really using the data present in this image to like really give me the best results, right? You couldn't even tell that a strand of hair was there, right? And then some clients, depending on how their skin is, may be more difficult to edit, right? Some clients may just have like a couple of pimples here and there, right? And your job may be easier, but the basic, um, technique is once you know the principle or the basic principle is once you know how to remove an imperfection it doesn't matter what kind of skin the person has you you know how to like make it pop and bring out the beauty that is naturally there in that person's skin right because we're all beautiful in our own unique way right um, let's continue let just go over some more and see what I got over here uh, one or two loose pimples just a few loose pimples here that got away, but we're gonna get them right. Save. And remember, if you don't hear me saying Control and S to save, it's because I'm using the um the button on my graphic tablet, right? All right. Let's zoom. Oh, but before I zoom, out, let me just turn off the after. Wow, guys. Wow. 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 Now I'm going to zoom out. See what we have here. Turn off the after. See the before. Whoa. Just whoa. What do you guys think? I mean, we could do more and make it even more seamless, but you guys get the basic idea, right? Let me just save this. And I think I want to remove the um the piercing marks on our ears. Let me just go ahead and burst that away and brush this away, right? You see how much power you have with the spot healing brush, right? Now let me go ahead and turn after off, before, after, let me zoom in, move her over some more, before, after. Wow, guys, what do you think? I'm so excited about this tutorial and I really hope you guys put this to good use. Uh, let me just brush away a few spots here and i think that's where i'm going to leave it here i'm just going to go ahead and hit Control and s to save and then i'm going to hit Control shift and s to save to save a jpeg or png from this brand new psd that we saved right so i'm just going to keep the same name and then just change the file format to jpeg and then i can go ahead and post this photo on Instagram, right? What do you guys think? What do you guys think?
Now, as promised, we're going to talk about the graphic tablet that I'm using. Now, I've always heard about graphic tablets for years. I've been using Photoshop for 10 plus years and I always knew about them, but I just never saw myself using one. But a good friend of mine, Dexter, you guys heard me mention Dexter before. He took the skateboard photo of me. He took my wedding photos. He designed the Learn Share logo. So you guys very much know who Dexter is. And Dex has been telling me for years to get a graphic tablet and I finally decided to get one. So I asked him, what graphic tablet do you recommend? And he recommended this one, the one that I have in front of me now. It's the Hoyon Inspiroi H640P. And it cost me less than $50. Yes, it's super, super affordable. And one of the reasons why I appreciated Dexter or Dex as I normally call him for recommending this tablet to me is because it has made my workflow so much quicker and so much more seamless, especially with editing photos. Now, Dex has been using graphic tablets for 10 plus years. I've been using mine for less than 10 months. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link to Dex's video down below in the description where he gives you an in-depth overview of a few graphic tablets as well as why you should get a graphic tablet versus using your mouse. Now, as I said, he has much more experience than I am. So you guys should definitely check out that video before before you go ahead and buy a graphic tablet and be sure to leave a comment under the video and tell Dex that CGM sent you from LearnShare. So remember to also subscribe to his YouTube channel because he has some really cool fundamental tips for photography and he just breaks down stuff that every beginner should know and his channel is new so he needs all the support he can get and he has been supporting me throughout my entire LearnShare journey so you guys should definitely subscribe and show him some support. Question of the day. Have you ever removed pimples from photos? If not, after all that we've done today, how confident are you to get started by leveling up your photo editing with removing pimples and imperfections? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is CJAM and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.